Welcome back everyone to another episode of The Raven's Eye. My name is Hugh, and today I want to talk about coming out of the room closet. So with that, let's get into it. To start us off, let's go ahead and look at what the broom closet is. Now amongst the pagan community, the broom closet is essentially what it is called when you are hiding your paganism from those around you, your loved ones, your co-workers, and the rest of society. Now, from my own experience, the majority of pagans have at one point or another, in some way, been in the broom closet. Not everybody has been able to grow up in a situation where they could openly be pagan, and that's okay. A lot of people may not ever be ready to fully come out of the broom closet. They may be wanting to be open about it to their friends, keep it from their family. Or they may not talk about it while they're at work, or they may not display their pagan symbols like knowing out and proudly for everyone to see. And that's okay. When someone is ready to come out of the third closet, that is a choice that is up to them. It cannot be made for them and should not be made by anybody but them. When you do decide that it is time that you are ready to step out of that room closet and to live your life openly as a pagan, you have to take into consideration to what degree you are willing to be open about your papers. Because whether we like to admit it or not, there is still discrimination to this day against pagans. Being openly pagan to your friends, your family, co-workers, and to your community could have detrimental effects upon yourself, upon your life, and really in various other aspects of your life. So when you are considering being openly pagan, there's a lot you have to consider about that. Is telling this person going to impact my ability to hold a job? Is it going to negatively affect my relationship with this person? Is it going to cause my family to do something? Now these are all valid concerns. None of them should be written off easily. In my own life, I struggled with openly being pagan for a long time. And it wasn't until about seven years ago that I decided that I was tired of hiding my paganism from the world. And I started being more open about it. And at first it just started off by me being open to my friends. And then I started talking about it with coworkers. And from there, eventually, I started to open up about my paganism to various members of my family. Everyone else, everyone's path, as they go from hiding within that room closet to being and living openly as pagans, as their own journey, taking up their own speed. And just because that you are willing to be openly pagan with certain people, does not mean that you're necessarily going to feel like you are ready or even want to be openly pagan with other people. And that's okay. Well, I would love to be able to sit here and say that we should all come out of the broom closet and tell everyone that we are okay. I know that for a lot of people, that that is just not something that they can do. Even for myself, there are certain people in my family that I do not tell that I am pagan. So, if you are considering taking that step of leaving the blue closet behind and openly living as a pagan, there are various ways that you could go about revealing it to your friends, family, do what I did, just go and tell them. You could write them a letter or send them some help. Or you can sit down and have a long, heartfelt conversation 
this at their level. Okay, so the point is, is that when you are ready to take those steps to come out of that room, the way that you approach it should be done carefully and should be done in a way that you think is right. I'm not going to sit here and try and tell you that you should go about it and tell all of your friends and family and your co-workers in such and such way that you are able. Because then it's not right. It's not up to me how you tell anyone. It is only up to your own heart to decide the right way and the right time to be open about being taken. So when it comes to the broom closet, take your time. Don't worry about stepping out of it. When you're ready, you'll be ready. And then I want to thank everybody for sticking with me through another episode. I want special thanks to all of our patrons. You'll be able to find a link to our Patreon in the description down below. Patreon supporters do get an extra entry into our monthly book giveaways, as well as an access to a members only area on our Discord. You'll be able to find a link to our Discord, which is a free and open community that is accepting of all. You'll be able to find that link in the description down below. And on that Discord, you'll be able to chat with myself and the Dancing Goats anytime, any day. And with that, I'll leave you guys with these final words. Remember, there is no one true way. It's called.